new piece called Winter Tea and we are going to tackle this piece the way we will do if it was oils but we're going to paint it in acrylics uh, if we're doing it in oils what we will do is start with the foundation which is the, sh the form of the cup uh, so we're going to give it form and then on top we're going to glaze the pattern which are the stripes and the snowflake so this is what I will do if I was doing it in oils and we're going to do it that way. I will find where the light source is and then I'm going to divide, make the medium large because the, the medium is got most of the color of the foundation is going to be medium color. So this is the way that I will do it if I was doing in oils. I will have medium light in here and later I can, will put highlight on top of that light then the medium then dark and then a small section of very dark these are the colors that I have on my palette I have Fuji Fong is the lightest one then I have um, Whispering Turquoise is the second one then I have Winter Blue and I have Ocean Blue Fuji Fong in this light area and then I'm going to break it so that I can put the the next color in there and probably you need to use a, a smaller brush let's find a smaller brush so that we can do this better
Oops, that's too light in there. That's too light. I'm trying to find the right color in there. Since we are brush mixing, sometimes when you brush mix, that's what happens. I'm gonna have the exact color. Let's uh, put more of this color. So, this is only the first stage. <laughs> I already put paint where I was not supposed to. <laughs> of course. I think that will be enough because there's a lot of um, things going on inside uh, on top of this. We're gonna base coat the handle with ocean blue. So I also put ocean blue in in here, this section in here. I'm gonna base coat the top with oyster beige. So I'm going to take this oyster beige all the way in here, but at the same time, we're going to leave a small section and on that small section, we're going to add the white. 
Let's break this line. So let's bring the white. And I do want to have the oyster beige on that line in there. And then we're going to put the white on the top. Let's bring the white. I decided to put buttermilk instead of white because then I can highlight with white. So let's find a liner. Okay, so this is buttermilk. So when it meets the other color, you have to break it again and probably bring the other color and do it wet on wet. We're going to shade this anyway and highlight. While that is wet, I'm going to bring some soft black and darken that a tiny bit. Uh, soft black plus the um, oyster beige. And darken that a tiny bit in there. then you can take white and highlight but um, it is lighter at the front so I'm gonna blend the white plus the buttermilk so that it is not completely white for that area Then the one at the front, then it's going to be more of the white. Put a tiny bit of the um, buttermilk plus the soft black and put it on the back in here. Tiny bit of the blue. This is where the blue is going to meet in here. So the ocean blue, underneath that line is the ocean blue. Let's 
ultra beige plus soft black and we're gonna do a float and we're gonna do a floating here because that doesn't look too pretty and then um, let's put the oyster beige on the bottom and blend that in there with the float let's do the float again one more time oyster beige plus soft black more of the more of the oyster beige than the soft black and then start it from here and I think that's good and then this base coat uh, with raw sienna the, the inside section so this is raw sienna and we're putting the tea in there And um, I'm going to take some of that um, soft black with the raw sienna. Try not to bring any more colors. So we try to um, use whatever we have in here. You know, blend colors so that you don't have to bring more. It's too wet. That's okay. We we'll, we can bring um, we can uh, wait until it dries and and then do another coat. And then the inside we can put the oyster beige. And we can blend that with a float. We're gonna put a float of the oyster beige plus the soft black, but we'll have to dry it first. Then you need more of that uh, soft black. And then a tiny bit more of the oyster beige. Um, that's probably too much. But oops, let's take a uh, raw sienna and do another coat of the raw sienna. That I th I I think I'm gonna uh, fix the shape of that. I think I trace it correctly. It's going to be harder because I already put another color in there. Let's uh, put the blue, the blue line with the ocean blue in there. Hmm, there's a white line and there's the blue line. Thing here, the, the white line is underneath. So I'm putting the blue line and the white line on the top. Then you're going to put the two white lines, 
this one and this one and I'm gonna use for that a combination of the oyster beige plus white it's the color that I created with the oyster beige plus white so these two lines these two lines in here we're gonna base cut now with the oyster beige plus white for example when it is on top of this light then put uh, the white um, on top of the oyster beige and so that we maintain that highlight that we have underneath so I'm putting see the white in the same on top of that uh, oyster beige and I'm, then I'm going to use a paper towel to remove any excess and then go back to the mixture and blend that color in there and the line was not straight because they, there was a uh, snowflakes, but you can make it straight. So when you get to to the oops to the dark area, let me just clean this with a thirsty brush. You have to remove color. You have to use a brush that is dry so that it removes the color. So. When it gets to the dark area, this is the Oyster Beige Plus White. When you get to this dark area, then you have to go straight to Oyster Beige. Straight to Oyster Beige. So you maintain those uh, colors that you have in there. I don't want to lose that in there but oh well then when you get to the um the end then blend the soft black with the oyster beige so that it is darker even darker so i'm gonna be doing that on both places and i will be right back now the next line um you're gonna take ocean blue and you are gonna do a wash of ocean blue and a wash is, you have to have a lot of uh, water. I'm using a brush that is exactly the size of that and it is a number eight. Now for the bottom part, I'll do the same for the bottom part. Let me dry this. Okay, this is a size 10. However, uh, it depends on the brand because um, on my on this other brand, this is a size 10 too. So either a 10 or a 12, depending on the brand of brush. And the thing is that um, you have to do it in one scoop. like that but with paint <laughs> they didn't have any paint in there so i'm gonna do it um again let's see if i put now enough paint on my brush yeah you have now we have enough paint and now i don't do it in one scoop but that's okay mm. that doesn't look good That looks better. I'm going to leave it like that. And um, I have to do the bottom. I'm going to use the same brush for the bottom probably. Or maybe a size 10. So a size 10 is um, wash. So fill the brush and then put it where you want it. And try to do it on one scoop. It doesn't look too much paint. I'm going to dry and do it again. So I did it one more time. And now I'm going to dry. But before I dry, I'm going to do the same on this lining here. Let's find a small brush. So this is a size 6. And I don't want to go over the white. Probably a smaller size. Let's use a size 4. Any 
bit more of pain. Well, we need to do it again with a different color, but for now we're just gonna dry it. I stamp at this point and I'm gonna use that uh, mixture that I have with um, Oyster Beige Plus White. But I'm gonna press in there and position and press in here. It's not the right side, but that's okay. And we'll do the same on the other side. It's pretty anyway. See, it doesn't show completely, but that's okay. I'm gonna put a piece of tape on half of the, of the stamp, like this. Not half, one third of the stamp. Let's put the oyster page on the other two sections, instead of the, that mixture. I'm going to remove the tape And I'm gonna stamp it. That's okay if it's not in the same area. It's not in the same area, but that's okay. Let's do the other one. I think it's pretty anyway. And I think I'm going to, I, I'll show you. And I think I am going to um, put a line on that graphite line because it's showing. I don't want it to be showing. And now I'm cleaning the stamp so that I can do the, the next one. This one is showing too much for my taste, so I'm gonna take, um, I'm gonna float the um, color that I put in there, which was the um, Whispering Turquoise. So I'm gonna float the Whispering Turquoise. Don't forget to clean your stamp with a uh, baby wipe or some alcohol and completely clean your stamp as soon as you stop working with them. I'm going to put the, this color in here and so that it doesn't show as much the stamp in there. I think that's better. And I think I'm going to reinforce my white one more time. I'm gonna do a double float. Double float. One side and then the other side. And maybe mop it. I'm not finding my mop, so let's use this. One thing is, I want to fix a tiny bit that. I don't like that my lines are still showing and uh, there's nothing else to put in there. So it's not in the photo, but I am gonna do it. I'm gonna put a uh, light line of, let's see, I'm thinking. Uh, let's just do the ocean blue and put a line in there on that line that we have in there so that it doesn't show. Well, it's, it will show, but it will not show as a graphite line. And I think that's prettier than a graphite line, no? Put that line, you have to give it values, so. Uh, you have to put um, the, um, the light color in here, like white plus that line, um, the light color in there, and you need to put a darker color. So 
not just put a line, you have to then um, give values to that line. So in the and so I am just quieting down the the line and it would only show on the dark areas and I think that's prettier so it will only show on the on the dark areas now uh, that one has a line of uh, of the ocean blue in there So winter blue plus a tiny bit of ultra blue deep and I'm going to start floating shadings and I'm just going to darken some areas. gonna take only the winter blue this shade underneath this um, lining here in the winter uh, ultra blue deep let's put it again there is it that color alone it doesn't seem to be right but well oh well and then put it in the other side and let's shade this section underneath This brush is too big for this area. It's a small area. You should use a bigger brush, but oh well. Because this is what's gonna happen. It's gonna go outside of where you don't want it to go. So right away I'm cleaning the brush and removing whatever is not where it's supposed to be. And maybe I was too late. It's drying so fast. And take the same color, let's take a smaller brush, ultra blue deep, and this um, shade in here. I didn't put it all the way to the outside edge. I, I put an uh, edge. And let's. Uh, Shade again, um, this area with a smaller brush. And there's another one in here. Let's see, there's here. And then in here. In there. And um, that's the same color that should go in the line. It's a little deep in this line in here now one thing is um, true is that everything we have done everything uh, has um, values except for this line that's why it doesn't look right so I'm putting it and let's put some value so let's mix this color plus the um, whispering turquoise 
and then put a value in there because you know maybe even lighter than that with the white you have to be stronger on this side and on this side winter blue plus turquoise and um, there's supposed to be darker color in here oops that doesn't look correct whispering turquoise and um, whispering turquoise and and ultra blue deep And let's clean that. Again, Whispering Turquoise plus Ultra Blue Deep. And on the other line, we do the same. It's grabbing. I don't know why it's grabbing, but. That's okay because the the cup is like that is not perfect. So, but I don't like it. Let's see if I can fix it. Y plus winter blue, and I'm just going to do a highlighting, uh, floating here. Put a tiny bit of the blue, ultra blue tip with that winter blue, and do a float on the outside edge. Maybe a tiny bit more of the ultra blue tip. No, it's not yet the color that I want. Let's take ultra blue tip alone plus the white. Let's see if this is better. For now, let's take the same color, Ultra Blue Deep Plus Oyster Beige, and we're going to put this color in here. And um, Ultra Blue Deep on the other side, and here. Let's take that Ultra Blue Deep Plus Whispering Turquoise and put it underneath in here. Put it there on top of that highlight. We can reinforce the highlight again. So put it there, we'll dry it and we'll put the highlight on top. The white. The white highlight. And um there's also a tiny bit in here.
seems like a reflective light so let's make it a uh, dollar with the y plus the winter blue and reinforce that in there It's the first time that I use this surface and I kind of not, not liking it too much. Seems it's not, not looking too good. This is the ultra blue deep. Let's put a tiny bit of color in there and in here. And let's also put some in this line. Like we did with the others. Take a tiny bit of burnt umber and work a little bit on that tea. dirty my line in there so I'm just gonna fix it I think it's because of the kind of tone where it is it has some dots darker dots um, that you can add them if you want to with the um, um, ultra blue deep so here and there put some ultra blue deep dots and I think I'm going to Go now to the bottom section. So I am putting oyster beige plus white, maybe a tiny bit of, of the rosiana, oyster beige, and a tiny bit of white, and made the, some squiggly lines in here. And, you know, some, and highlight this section. In here and I'm gonna leave that like that I added a um, line of oyster beige plus white line in here if you need to fix this line you can do it with the um, blue with the blue so we still have to do the handle. I'm gonna do some winter blue floatings in here. Okay, starting with um, let's do one from here, from here down. This is just winter blue. Clean the edge on that one. This is the ultra blue deep. So let's take the ultra blue deep and that line that we have in there with the ultra blue deep so it has to go all the way there okay so ultra blue deep and there's another line in here and that's ultra blue deep another lining here with ultra blue deep and um, 
can see. There's another line is in here with the ultra blue deep. And one goes all the way down here. So ultra blue deep. This is the winter blue. Um, I need it in here. The winter blue. Let's take winter blue plus a tiny bit of the uh, ultra blue dip and let's put it um, in here. So ultra blue dip plus oyster uh, winter blue. And in there. In here. In here, in here, in here. Then I'm gonna take um gonna take the ultra blue deep and I'm gonna float some areas. Reload. Let's take the Oyster Beige, I mean the Winter Blue, and re highlighting here. And re highlighting here. And in here. Take some ultra blue deep and also put some of the the same squiggly line that we did on the other sections. We're gonna put them in here too. A ultra blue deep. Now, what will have the strongest highlight? The top, right? So let's put a strong highlight at the top. Put it with, um, just gonna put it with the winter blue. Just winter blue. And let's put a strong highlight at the top. And let's see. Also have a strong one in here and we also have a strong one in here um, for now we're gonna leave it like this and we're gonna go to the oops that was not the correct color what I put in there 
I'm just going to fix that and we still have to do the, the background, but we're going to do it as soon as we're done with everything. So let's start shading those globes. And I'm going to use black plus winter blue for the cast shadow. And I am going to put this color black plus winter blue in here. But I'm going to use the winter blue, which was the color that I put in here originally, and blend that in there. I ended up painting this table, which I was not going to, but it is, I don't know, this surface dries a lot faster than this, um, at the first time that I used this surface for painting, uh, I used gesso board, but the one from Ampersand, but these are, um, one that I have, um, for pouring. But it comes off, it doesn't work as good for painting because it dries super fast. And so it doesn't give you too much uh, time to play. I notice it on the, and it also has a lot of more texture. I'm not saying it's not a good surface, but I probably uh, just, you know, it's probably better just for putting, not for this type of painting. No, it doesn't blend too, too, too good. But it's not bad because I, we have been able to paint them, and, you know, everything that we wanted. But the truth is I have trouble with the, the texture in there. And, you know, I have to be truthful because I don't want you to be, you know, be misguided. It's in black. But um, I don't know why it's looking a war like if it's a warm black because normally uh, black is normally not a warm uh, paint. It's normally more into the blue side. But maybe this batch is warmer.
I have some colors in my palette and let's see we have blue chiffon as a highlight then I have blue chiffon plus ocean blue and I made um, a light and a medium and a dark of those with those two colors then I have some of um, ultra blue deep deep midnight blue and those are gonna be the colors for for here so I'm gonna start with the um, ultra um, deep midnight blue and I'm gonna uh, put some very dark areas like for example in here That's good and then so I'm gonna find some very very dark areas and sometimes they're gonna be just dots Mixing now the ocean blue with the ultra blue deep so that it's not in these areas as dark. Sometimes you can make it lighter.
you see that is darker you put the darker Put this um, on the graphite line so that it, we don't see it. gonna shade with um this um deep in the blue it's a float of deep midnight blue
I'm going to float the ocean blue plus the mixture that I did, the dark mixture that I, I combined the ocean blue with a tiny bit of the chiffon blue. And I'm going to float that color. This again that dark uh, in there. Just giving it form.
Uh, let's be, uh, go to the next value, which is the same color. Okay, let me show you the values. This is the Ocean Blue Plus, the uh, Chiffon Blue, more of the Chiffon Blue, and more of the Chiffon Blue. I already did this one. Now I'm going to do uh, the one that has a little bit more of the Chiffon Blue floating. So gonna put this one in here maybe maybe I have to mix it with the other value because this is too light whoops that's not the right color just applying um like i did with um with a teacup i am just uh putting some values in here and then i'm going to um start um building more more of the character
gonna take um the ocean blue plus a tiny bit of the dark color which is the see if I can zoom out so that you can see what I'm doing. So I have the ocean blue and this dark color in here is gonna be the deep midnight blue. This one is the blue um ultra blue deep ultra blue deep deep midnight blue whispering um no chiffon blue and this is the ocean blue plus the um chiffon blue and we are going to make this dark color with the deep midnight blue plus ocean blue Let's put a tiny bit of the of the ultra blue deep, and again put some of those um, lines here and there. Some very dark um, lines. Sometimes you can take some more of the ocean blue. Sometimes you can make them uh, even darker. But you need to have these because they're like holes in the in the gloves.
I'm thinking Ocean Blue plus the um, Blue Chiffon. And I'm going to make some real distinctive marks and probably more of the Blue Chiffon. That is too light. That is too light. So let's load the brush with those two colors. And I'm going to do one going this way and another one going that way. I don't know if you can see that. In between, you'll see some lines. So let's do the lines. Let's go again, maybe with a lighter color, so you can see them. Let me put it, them very, very strong so you can see them and then we can uh, shade it again. Let's do another line. But then the next line is not going to be as light. Put it darker in here. And then um, the bottom one, you don't, you just see one of the, you don't see it all. So let's go again on this one because we can hardly see it.
as to like. So I'm gonna be doing that and then we can uh, shade and tint This one thing here. So let's. I'm gonna continue doing the same all the way down, but first I'm gonna highlight a tiny bit uh, this one thing here with a little bit more of the chiffon blue. Um, maybe quiet down this one a tiny bit, putting a tiny bit of the of a darker color to quiet down some of these. I still want to see them, but not um, in some areas. I don't want to see them as much, so I'm putting a tiny bit of darker color on top. And then, then I can uh, highlight, mm, my mixture is starting to dry, but that's okay. Let's highlight some of these. Whoops, that's extremely too light. Okay, let's continue with the remainder. But uh, I'm gonna do the same on all the others and I'm gonna speed it up. But uh, before I do that, I'm gonna take some of the color and do some um, hairs like If you can see it, let me go closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm bringing some hairs too.
Again with um, shading again with um, ultra blue dip and deep midnight blue.
stemmies to another float. Okay, this one is in here. So I'm going to finish the table and for that I'm going to bring some of the drying time extender. Okay, so let's put some drying time extender in here and that way we can blend this better. And I'm going to mix a color with the black plus the background color with washed winter blue. Right where the, put it right where the remainder of the... Let's put a... Let's take the two, two values. So I put it right where the right the extender was. Okay, so let's put this one. And then one darker. Put a drop of the drying time extender in there. Both of those colors. Then we can put some of the winter blue with nothing in there, in there, which is what we have in there. Let's bring it closer. So let's start with the, with this color. And we are just going to brush it in here. And again, this this uh, surface was not the best to work uh, with for this. Oh well. And then um, It's not the best one. I need to put also more of the black. Even with the extender, the surface is not helping. I don't want to have that color in there, but um, I probably have to put black, but let me just put this color and then we can put the black. And then we're going to put back the hairs, the hairs that we put in there. 
we're going to put them back and then oops my my brush was dirty that's what happens Put the dark color. Wiping my brush so that I can blend in there. I'm gonna clean the brush and blend this area. I'm gonna put extender on my brush again and blend these two areas with um, winter blue. Okay, I think that's good in there. I think. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Okay, I think, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so let's blend this area in here. And a bit of the extender. The dark color. Okay, I think that's good. Let's just leave it like that. And I'm going to dry this. Before I dry it, I think I'm going to put now uh, the darker color in these two sections. Only those two sections. Should I have some extender on my brush? And with no water, I'll put a tiny bit of black with that uh, dark color. And we're just going to do a float. Okay, 
Okay. Let's do it. Okay, let's go to the other one. And we're going to do it in here. think that's good let's just leave it like that I'm gonna dry it and put more hair I think I think it feels like it needs some in here of the dark color only the dark color not the black it's a tiny bit because it's, it needs to um, taper a tiny bit in there think that's enough maybe maybe a tiny bit of the black too Let's try this. You have finished all that. Uh, put more of these uh, lines in here. And maybe put some other dark um, sections if you don't have the dark sections. And I'm going to sign it. And this is it. Put it like that so that you can see it. And thank you for joining me. And please come back for other videos. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.